Hey guys, this is God's Onion, here with my buddy, Noah, and I'm gonna give you a t redstone tutorial on a Seth Bling style PvP map, his Super Smash Bros. Brawl thing. Um, I never looked at how he did his redstone, but until after that I did mine, and I did mine completely different. In my opinion, it's a lot simpler and easier, so that's why I'm giving you a tutorial on it, and for those that don't know what... Seth Bling's um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl map is. Um, I'm going to do a playthrough quickly with Noah, so we'll see how it all works. So, some rules if you want to read them, don't bother. Uh, let's quickly press to play. Okay, and this brings you to the player selection screen. You just choose what player you are, see it tells you. So I'm player one, Noah's player two. And now we are at the, uh, whatever it's called, character selection screen. Each one has different perks, you know, whatever. I'm going to be a ninja. Noah, you be whatever you want. And since Cool, he's going to be an archer. And since I'm a ninja, I don't have any armor, so I don't have to put any on. I'm going to be Cortis... Cortis... I'm going to have Cortisy. And let him put his armor on before I start killing him. I have some snowballs. They don't really do anything, they're just here because I felt like putting them in there. Yeah, no, they knock people back. So, let's go in and kill them. Ooh. Oh, no. You're owning- okay, I just got owned. Okay, that's cool. So, when you die, when you respawn, it quickly puts you in that sponge room, if you saw that, and then you go back to the arena and see the scoreboard. Wait, Noah, stop killing me for a sec. Um... The scoreboard, it shows one of my lights is off, that means I have one life down, and once it hits zero, then you die. So, quickly, I'll let you win, Noah. I'll let you win, yeah. Um, so, oh, <laughs> you died too, cool. So, yeah, and now, did you respawn yet? Are you sure? Oh yeah, okay. So, his light's off, now two of my lights are off, and if I die another time... I felt that two lives wasn't enough, so I was nice, and it goes to complete empty, and that shows that you're going to die really soon. So once I kill myself for the last time, we, then I respawn, another quick in the sponge thing, and then I'm back here, and then if I want to end the ongoing match, I press that, teleports me and Noah into some lava. Oh, you're opt, right, aren't you? If you're opt, then it doesn't teleport you into a place that you're gonna die. So I'll press it again, so Noah will take more damage. Are you almost dead, Noah? Yes. Almost, okay. But the purpose of that is just to reset your health points. If you end the match early, and people are still in there, they'll have, like, you know, low health. And then when you press to play, again, well, first, there's a viewing platform. This is for the noobs that died. You can see the score, and here you see the arena. Cool. Go back. And then there is just press to play again. And it clears your inventory. I'm going to quickly just go be whatever. And it you see it reset the lights. So yeah, that's the arena. Now I'll show you how all the redstone works. Guys, just a little tip before we actually get into all the redstone stuff. Just, if you build this little contraption, it's really handy, because it's constantly having, making it so there's clear weather, and it's always daytime. You just have a little setup that puts the cart back up to the top, with um, cobwebs, makes about a two minute delay or so, and then it falls, it activates the detector rail, which just slash weather, clear, and time set 1000. So really simple, but really handy. Alright guys, now onto the actual redstone part. It may look complicated because it's all big and slightly compact, but it's not. It's just simple components mixed together to make this. So first I'm going to go over some pre-built little components and then I'll explain the big thing. So first off we have our T flip-flop here. What that is is just... um. It creates a one tick pulse for the piston so that every time you 
power it, it leaves the block up there, and every time you turn it off, it does nothing. So how to make this, just, well, how this works, you power the block with the redstone torches on, and this is previously powering this block, which powers that and turns off the torch, and then when you turn it on, it turns that off, and sends a pulse through there that gets picked up by the repeater, which has a three tick delay, which is needed so that it's the right timing to turn off this while still giving off a one tick pulse for here. So yeah, that's how that works. And then onto here, we have pretty much just saying, showing that if you have the redstone going to power up here, by the way, this torch, if it's powering the block, it will power that. Just showing that if you send that power, it's going to go down and cut that off. So if you combine the two, if you have this piston, give get a one tick pulse like that, it will leave the thing down here. So it'll be constantly cutting off, you don't have to keep it powered. And then another aspect is quickly just here. If the blocks are all down there, like that, if they're all down, then all you need to do is step on the strip wire, and it will pull all the black blocks back up, resetting their position, because if you power this, it sends power through, if you step on the trip wire, it sends power back, eh, let me do this, through there. And then if redstone is on top of the pistons, it activates them. So that's real simple. And then this is just showing that if you power that, redstone can go downwards and upwards. So like normally, if you have a block there, it cuts off the redstone signal. But if you just have a half slab, then you can have redstone on top of it and it keeps going with the signal. So you just apply those to this. So quickly, here's our T flip-flop, giving the one tick pulse over to this piston, which cuts that off, sends that up. There is a light behind that. And then over here, we have our um, half slab thing. And you just quickly have a spawn point and a TP. It sets your spawn point into the next one over so every time you die you spawn in one of these and then the next time you die you go to the one beside and the one beside and every time it just teleports you back into the map and then finally when you've gone to the last one it teleports you into this one which activates the redstone and resets all the pistons and also TPs you using the same uh, half slab trick. TPs you back into there, the original starting room, and says you lost, and sets your spawn point into the starting room just as a precaution. And finally, the this button right here, the press to end the current ongoing match button, it goes out, it teleports you to the lava where you die, and sets your spawn point back in there, so it doesn't, you don't teleport into like one of those. And then a big wire runs along, goes, connects to all four of these things. Those things go up with the redstone. They just go across and all they do, they connect to this, so also resetting the pistons. So really simple. Um, it's not as complex as Seth Bling's, like there aren't as many maps. I only have one map, but it wouldn't be hard to create more. All you'd have to do is have another uh, character selection room, and you just have to, instead of teleporting them immediately there, they teleport them to the map uh, section, and then that would teleport you to each new character selection screen you just have to have multiple character selection things um so yeah that's pretty much it if you feel i missed something 
if I wasn't very clear. Uh, say it in the comments, I'll try to answer you with a comment. If not, I'll put it in my next video. So, thanks guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in- oh! By the way, this stuff, it's just really simple. Uh, this is your quick character selection screen. So whenever you press these, it goes... Ugh, let me get out behind and activates all these. This looks messy, but whatever. It's just basically, it's all your items. Just the slash gives for every single item. That's it. So yeah, now thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.